exciting night. Your so premiered. exciting. Yeah, finally. Just took a little work. We just, we finished on Monday. Not too soon. Not soon enough. Not soon enough. <laughs> yeah. But we did it. And it's, it really holds together. So there was a great response to the first TED movie. Right. And um, what is it that people love about these two guys just together, despite the fact that one of them is a Teddy bear? I think it's that... that the, the relationship is played so real, like the, the bear is really like your, you know, a-hole buddy, basically. He's not played like a bear or an animated character ever. He's, and he's somebody that everybody, uh, all of us have a friend like that somewhere that if we hadn't known him our whole lives, we'd never speak to him again. But we just love him. You gotta love him. Um, Ted 2 is a completely original story. Completely, completely original, yeah. What can we expect from Ted and John this time around? I think the relationship goes to another level. I mean, if you look at it as a love story, uh, their love story go grows and goes to a totally different level. Um, and uh, it's com really completely beyond where it went in the first movie. I mean, I think it's a more mature relationship and even funnier. So Seth really created this foul-mouthed but totally endearing, big-hearted character in Ted. What, why is it that audiences have loved him? I think it's because it's, again, so real, and the humor cuts right through to every family. Uh, and uh, it's it's the kind of thing things you think and you don't say. That's what Ted does for all of us, I think. He sort of uh, just you know says it like it is. Now, if you had a chance to hang out with Ted, let's assume he's real, yeah. he's real guy, um, what do you think you guys would do? I think we'd probably go out, go boating, you know, maybe uh, shoot some hoops, um, catch a movie, you know, go on a double date before I was married. Thank you so much. Thank you.